Do you know what is the absolute worst thing about social media these days? It's that everyone looks exactly the same. We've all seen the headlines that social media is bad for our mental health. You've got all these filters giving you the ability to have thinner cheeks, brighter eyes, different color hair, and the most popular of them all, smoother skin with the perfect tone to make you look like Kim Kardashian. The problem is, smartphones these days are leading people more and more in this direction as not only do they have their own plethora of beauty filters and effects, the camera software is also guilty of touching up on your distinctive features, in particular skin tone. This begs the question, if you wanted to own a smartphone that took the most true to life photos, which one should you choose? Being the newest and most desired devices, we opted to compare the iPhone 14 Pro, the Google Pixel 7 Pro, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, and the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. We also took the photos with a professional grade camera to have the most correct photos for reference, as well as using a gray card before each photo to achieve accurate exposure and colors. Thanks to ESR for sponsoring this video. Let the facts speak. Just as a friendly reminder, we are not looking for the most appealing photo. In other words, the one you think is perfect for Instagram might not be the winner. The main focus is always going to be skin tone and overall color, but other factors will also be looked at if the photos are close. So here are four photos of the first image. The one that portrayed me the most similar to the professional camera was the Vivo X90 Pro Plus. Unrelated to the point, we also like the coincidental highlight boom effect in the background. The iPhone 14 Pro was very close and it barely came in second place because there is an ever so slightly green tone present on my face. Samsung's Galaxy S23 Ultra took the third place spot as my skin is less pinkish than Google's Pixel 7 Pro. Overall, we actually like the Pixel photo the most and were impressed with Google's machine learning camera software. For you to have an easier time comparing, here's the winner side by side with the photo from our professional camera, the Lumix S5 Mark II. Image number two. I must say we stared at this for quite a while because the Galaxy and the iPhone's results were just so similar. The iPhone has a little less contrast and saturation than the S23 Ultra, but this doesn't change the fact that they were both equally close to the real thing. The Pixel made my eyes look a beautiful hazel color, there's no doubt about that, but my skin is slightly warmer than the original. The X90 is the outlier here, and I'm pretty positive you'll agree with me that my skin and coat both do not reflect the original colors. Here is the iPhone 14 Pro's photo in comparison to our DSLM, and here is the photo taken with the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Number 3 is coming up. This one was actually a no-brainer for us, and also a tiny bit frustrating. I personally own a Pixel 7 Pro, and while I do love the photos in general, they are sometimes really warm when you have an abundance of orange or yellow in the frame. This also sometimes happens with sunlight. Speaking of no-brainers, the iPhone pretty much hit the nail on the head here. The Galaxy will be the proud owner of a silver medal with a cooler color temperature as well as the highlights being a little bit more blown out but still close enough. The Pixel was able to get the bronze medal because it still managed to pull off a better overall photo than the X90 and the funny thing is the more I look at the S23 Ultra's photos the more I appreciate what it's able to do when it doesn't go down the road of overly saturating its end results. Their photos are best viewed on the gorgeous screen of their flagship phone and what better way to protect the screen from pesky scratches and cracks than the ESR Classic kickstand case. The kickstand is this little gizmo here that allows you to set the phone on any surface to watch videos in a very practical way. I've seen different variations of this before, but this one has been my favorite to use so far. The case offers military grade protection and I'm not gonna doubt that for even a second because it's super sturdy and heavy courtesy of high quality material. They also have clear versions of their cases which are marketed to be never yellowing which is often the main problem with clear cases. Being dirt and sweat resistant is another bonus and the ability to wirelessly charge your phone without taking off the case has slowly become an industry standard. They have a variety of cases for different brands and models and they also sell lens protectors that you can simply stick onto the camera to protect it from scratches and cracks. If you like what you see you can use the code in the description to get 10% off your purchase where there are also a couple of links that you can click on to go to the product pages. 
So, image number 4. This one was actually close all around because none of them were able to get within touching distance of the original frame. The one that was the furthest away though was the iPhone as there is a slight green tone on my face while the others look neutral with different brightness values. Since we're going to be able to show you 3 photos this time, let's start off with the Google Pixel 7 Pro side by side with our professional camera. Now, here's the photo from the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And lastly, the photo from the Vivo X90 Pro Plus side by side with the Lumix. The next image in line is one with plenty of contrasting colors and I'm curious how the end results are going to be. The Galaxy is a little bit more saturated than needed, the X90 is a bit too bright and the Pixel is kind of flat. The iPhone is very similar to the Pixel but the balance is what will give it the 4 points. As you can see here, it is kind of obvious that the iPhone 14 Pro managed the lighting and skin color a little bit better overall. As for the 6th image, the iPhone's habit of not playing around with its photos too much is working to its advantage. I personally agree with people when they complain about their photos sometimes being too dull, but this is definitely better than pushing out fully artificial results. The X90 was pretty close as it performed better than the Galaxy in this photo, and the Pixel's phone coming in last due to desaturation and lack of color. Check out the original photo and the one from our phone and see the difference for yourself. Number 7, the Pixel was actually our clear favorite here. Why do you ask? The sunlight was hitting on my face pretty hard, so the shadow on the right side of my face being left as it is, is pretty neat. The HDR on the iPhone overdid it somewhat as the sky is too blue and the shadow was kind of removed from my face which is what iPhones often do. Regardless, my skin tone looks way more accurate than the Galaxy and especially than what the X90 has to offer. If we were to compare the Pixels photo with the photo that came out from the DSLM, you'll have a better understanding of what I just explained about shadows and skin tone. Which brings us to the next photo. This one was actually a little mind boggling as Casper's face isn't this red. We think that his hair along with the sunlight might have affected his skin tone in which the most accurate one belongs to the iPhone. Second place will go to the Pixel and we couldn't choose a third place spot between the Galaxy and the X90 as both of them are too bright and warm. Here's a side by side comparison and it is interesting to see just how much work the camera software of the phones put in, albeit not always in the best way. Image number 9 is an indoor shot and the changes in skin tone compared to the previous photos are immediately visible. It was a hard decision to make between Apple and Google here as both look quite similar and accurate. The reason the iPhone is a step ahead will be more apparent to you when you see the final comparison as the Pixel's photo has a faint tinge of orange. Vivo's photo was our overall favorite here due to the nice blur the background as well as the soft textures of my skin and my clothes. Unfortunately though, my skin is slightly darker in the photo taken by the Lumix, so third place with Samsung coming in fourth with a cooler white balance than expected. As you can see, the iPhone and the Pixel were really close and it could have easily gone either way if a couple of things were different. Summing up our nice comparison is the last image. The Pixel once again was in a tight race with the iPhone but ended up taking the gold medal. The skin has an ever so slight green tinge on Apple's flagship but it still holds up better than both the flagships of Samsung and Vivo who will be tied for the third place spot as the red tones have been amplified. Once again, here are the two photos side by side for comparison and it should be apparent to you that Google pulled this one off. In conclusion, the points are as follows. The iPhone with 36, the Pixel with 27, the Galaxy with 25 and the X90 with 23. We wouldn't necessarily call out any winners or losers here as in some cases, the photo that got only one point was in general our favorite photo. Some of you might like the punchy tones of Samsung or the really nice shallow depth of field on Vivo or even the advanced software adjustments made by Google's Tensor 2. As I mentioned at the beginning, the comparison was about real tone so this is what we wanted to focus on. We hope that this was an informative and enjoyable video for you and if it was, feel free to like and subscribe to support our efforts. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.